invest is something it's 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 just one of the nonsense that is happening out there because <laughs> in investing you're taking the money you're putting it in a good business because a good business must have rules You know, it must have money and put it in a business. And um, so if you see the difference between savings and investing, in savings, there's just an upward trajectory, although the growth is minimal. Whilst in investing, you see that the, the, traje the trajectory is upward, but the graph keeps on going upwards and downwards. And I'll, I'll talk more about it as we go into the presentation. Uh, what are some of the investment instruments that we can we can put our money in? I think my my friend Innocent Luca did a good justice yesterday. He talked about product and services market. This is where you exchange products or services for money. I'll give you an example. I I am I I own a bookstore. We call it Revival Bookstore. At Revival Bookstore, we sell Christian books. We sell Christian books, we give people books, in exchange people give us money. It's a form of investment because I can take my money and put it in, in that particular business and realize growth over a period of time. I'll give you an a good, maybe a better example. I'm, I'm, I'm a medical lab laboratory scientist by training. I'm schooling at Kuhes. as you know as serpents but and harm it as doves as a business person you need to be very agile fast in decision making analyze the situation and take advantage of opportunities take advantage of opportunities i repeat take advantage of opportunities for me this was an opportunity that this guy had a business he's failing to run the business on the basis that he doesn't have money so what did i do I told him, I will fund you the, 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 I will fund the business. I'll give you the capital for the entire business. When I give you the entire capital for the business, you, you give me, um, my tech will be, my tech will be 60%. Your tech will be, uh, yeah, I think, yeah, I think that's what we agreed. It, it was 60%, no, 60. How, how did we well, how did you do the math? But it was 30, Tim got the 30, 70%. It was like that. 30 to 70%. So I took 70%. He runs the business on a daily basis. But when the when the profits are generated, he gives me 70% of the profits. He takes 30%. So that's in products and services. You can analyze businesses out there. And you can take your money, put them in those businesses, sit at home, negotiate your stake in those businesses, and make money. Um, another one is a capital market. A capital market, I think he, uh, Innocent Luca, talked about it better. This is where you, it's, it's, it's a form of like savings and investment channel where you take your money, you give it to institutions. These institutions are responsible for lending or investing your money. Two platforms that um, can fit in this category are the, st the stock market, and the bond market and you know saint luca did a good justice in explaining these things yesterday i won't necessarily go um, in details about them because today we are focusing on the stock market yesterday he explained about the bond market 
The third market is uh, the money market, which a lot of people are not aware of. Money markets are my mutual funds. My mutual funds, for example, in Dajina, Old Mutual. There is Old Mutual, there is um, Achina, um, Nico. Achina, Nico. Those companies are investment platforms. You can take your money, you can put them in. There is, you have no idea. I mean, if I, 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 had, I had my uncle, I think he was, he, he received his money from Nico, I think this year. I think he, he, he had been putting, if I'm not mistaken, he had been putting 5,000 kwacha every month at a particular time until, until this particular, it's years, maybe probably 10 or 15 years or some sort. Guys, my 5,000 kwacha, I mean, after, after, when he received the money, he told me, I can't tell you the amount, but I couldn't believe that I have these millions. <laughs> Oh, you know, many times I took a investment. Tima Ganesa and don't take a hundred thousand and Nagaji see a winner back. Yet, Mun to Uma Ganesa obeys a minimum of two thousand and my three thousand, my five thousand. The watch you can take that money, go to Nico, go to Old Mutual, go to Achina Sako. Achina Sako, for example, if, you, if you're if you in the Blanta, there is a Sako up of Chapa Queen Elizabeth Central Hospital. You can take your money and, and invest with, with them, and you'll be shocked with uh how your money is gonna go it's, it it won't grow that 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 much but you will be also shocked with a with a level of growth and could you switch in um i don't know if if some of you have heard about it my company my, my banks like as in a national bank they are offering these platforms where akumata wusungiran drama muntu they are they can keep your money a minimum is three hundred thousand. They can keep your money from 300,000. So you agree, maybe um, you're going to keep my money for three months. You agree on an interest to say, okay, based on the money you've invested, maybe we're going to give you a 17% interest rate if you keep this money with us for 17, I mean, for three months. So in my come negotiations, you can go to the bank and tell them, I want to join. Um, I want to keep money with you. I want to invest money with you as a bank. They will help you as well to grow your money. So all these things are opportunities for you to, to invest and grow your money. Now, as we have talked about, you know, those investment platforms, the products and services, the capital markets, the money markets, what's safe in the short term is not safe in the long term. What's safe in the short term is not safe in the long term. I'll give you an example. Last year, I, I, I joined the business. The business, we called it Apple Bites. We were selling apples. I invested money with a particular man who was running a particular business. And the money, I think it was around 200 something thousand. The guy was very faithful, you know, for the first two months he was faithful because the, the amount of money that was being generated from that business was so miraculous <laughs> surprisingly in the third month the guy blew my profits he blew up my profits i i i wasn't receiving the profits not only the profits but the guy even blew up my <laughs> he blew up my he blew up my capital as well <laughs> My entire business went in shambles. Guys, you know, you have no idea how, how a heartbreak feels like when you lose money like that. <laughs> it was so bad. So there are some of these business, some of us we are in, they might be giving us money today. But the question is, are they safe in the long term? You want to put your money in something that is that can give you safety in the long term. And, you know, we, we talked about my stocks. We talked about my bonds, and there is um, there is cash, yeah? my cash businesses. So if you see, ooh, 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 we are talking about safety and risky. So in a short term, cash is safe. If I take money, it is safe, you know, it is safe. 
my bonds, he, he talked, Innocent Luca talked about bonds where you take money and you borrow it to the government. That thing is safe in a short term. Stocks, which we're going to talk about today, uh, they are very risky if you do them on a short term basis. If you check on the Malawi Stock Exchange today, Mugabe is a good airtel prices, airtel share, share price here, airtel, the role, Yasika. Share price here, airtel, the role, Yasika. But the question should be because remember the definition I gave you about invest, investment is that investment, you're not just taking your money, you're putting it in a business. You're taking your money, you're putting it in a good business. The idea is you're taking the money, you're putting it in a good business. Underline the word good business. Let me ask you guys, do you think Airtel Malawi will be there in the next 15 years? Do you think it will be there? I can tell you the answer is yes, it will be there. TNM, for example, Panopa, I mean, from last year up to this year, TNM wasn't performing well. The, sh the share price went down so badly. Oh, you know, we thought TNM was each of the stock exchanges. <laughs> the question should be, some of you right now are using TNM bundles. So as you're using your TNM bundles, you're making money for TNM shareholders. TNM will be there for the next five years, for the next 10 years. So even though the stock, the, the, the stock, the share price here, TNM Panopa, Sigubanga perform Bunobino. The truth of the matter is Airtel and TNM will be there for the next 5, 10, 15 years. And Panopa, we are in an internet age. So long as we are in an internet age, the demand for mobile, for mo mobile companies will be very high. And so long as the demand is very high, these companies will make profits in the long term. Come for a short term now, if you look at it, these companies are suffering. So if you are a person who is planning to take your money, put it on the Malawi Stock Exchange, just for three days, you, you, you won't do business. Because you're supposed to take that money, put it on the Malawi Stock Exchange for a long period of time, if you have to realize gains. So this side is just showing us what's safer in the long term and what's safer in the long term is the stocks and umabwela with bonds and the most risky one in long term is cash some of you the businesses you are doing now they won't be there in the next 10 years five not even five years next year by next year your business would have died it's not a it's not a prophet prophecy of doom but it's just the truth of the matter <laughs> So the, the safest place to put your money is on the Malawi stock, I mean, to put it in stocks because stocks are safer in the long term. But if you look at bonds, bonds, they are both safer in the short term and long term. So I won't go into bonds because Innocent Luca dealt with them yesterday. Terms, what, what is a stock market? So stock market is, a, um, oh, I can see that. my thing wants to die Uh, sorry, I apologize for that. So the, the stock market is where investors, yeah, investors, people who take money and put it in good businesses, can buy and sell shares of a company. What is a share? A share simply represents a unit of ownership in a in a in a financial asset. Let me just give an example of a share a share for some of us who have eaten pizza yeah so if you haven't eaten pizza you need to be on the malai stock exchange to eat pizza <laughs> but if you see if you see pizza you see that it has um it it has different units so you can take you can take your money put it on the malai stock exchange and have 
a unit, your, your own unit of ownership in Airtel, in TNM, in all those companies that are on the Malawi Stock Exchange, of which I'm gonna I'm gonna show you guys. This is this is how the this is these are the these are the companies that um, uh, let me show you. These are the companies that are on the Malawi Stock Exchange. So there is Airtel Malawi, Blanta Hotel Limited, FDH Bank, FDH Holdings Bank. There is Ajina FMB, Icon. Ilovo, Mpiko, National Bank of Malawi, NBS, Nico, Nito, Old Mutual, Press Corporation, Standard Bank, Sunbird, TNM. So these are like companies that are principalities in our land. You can take your money and put it in these companies. The profits they make, you also have your own share of the profits. And these companies, guys, they make money in billions. We are not talking of millions here. They make profits in billions. So for the for the profits that they are, these companies will realize, based on the money that you have invested, a good example is in banking conde. For some of you, maybe who are familiar with the banking conde. Banking conde and hamatenga drama, weekly kumasi yako ndarama. After a period of time, depending on the you have to go to bank in Konde, you have to go depending on the way you have to go to The same way with these companies. You can take your money, put it in all these companies, as many companies as you want. In big end, if you look at the market capitalizations of these companies, for example, Standard Bank, we are talking about one trillion, one trillion kwash. We are talking about National Bank, one trillion kwash. That is the worth of these companies. They are so big, um, so it's it's a it's a good place to to trade. Now I know maybe some of you are looking at the figures here and wondering, but what's what's up with this table? Let me just narrow it a bit. Open here is. So for, for a, every company ma can share price. Share price, it in got the, I don't know how can I put it. It's it's like pizza, ka slow tikena ka unit ka pizza kat. Uguka gulan drama singati. So on Malay stock exchange, I mean on every stock exchange, prices are always going up and going down. Prices are always going up and going down. For example, mene de lolo kumacha airte was at 46 kwacha. Point nine point nine nine seven. And many secular the matter. Yeah, many secular the matter. Airtel in a deeper forty five quarter point five quarter close volume. These are the number of shares that have been traded. My shares Airtel that have been traded that have been exchanged between buyers and sellers. Value is simply, I want value simply what are the value of the shares that have been traded from the hands of buyers and sellers? Because on the stock exchange, not only are you buying, but you can sell the shares as well. So, for example, I own shares in FDH Bank. I own shares in FDH Bank. Today, I can decide to sell the shares. And I can also decide to go and buy other shares. So as we are buying and selling, that is what creates the volume. And the number of shares that have been traded, depending on the price, the price of those shares is what creates the value of those shares. Sorry to disturb, yep. sir. But yes. we can't see the table. We, we can't see the table. Well, you can't see it? Yes, we can see it. Oh, sorry, sorry, sorry. Yes, we can. Can you see it? Yes, we you... can see it. Okay, so, so then let, let me just repeat. Because actually the table is here, so I'm wondering why it didn't it appear. Um, so these are the... Oh, sorry. These are the, the companies that I was talking about that are on the Malay Stock Exchange. There are 16 companies. And I said that every unit of pizza can have a price. And that price goes up and comes down. 
the market opens in the morning, ima sekedu wajia kumasana huku. Today, mene kumacha, Airtel, for example, was at 46 kwaja point nine seven. As the market was closing, it was at 45 kwaja point five. Mwona kutinu Airtel, price yake ya siga. From 46 kwaja to 45 kwaja. Now, ena kuzomai not no 46 kwaja to 45 kwaja. Is that a big deal? Oh, that is a big deal. <laughs> one, that one kwaja is... So what's your money? Your okay, so he's so this these are live audiences. They are asking to say, what if 46 kwacha? What if 45 kwacha? To remember that 46 kwacha, 45 kwacha. What's your money? Okay, so I'll answer that question. Why should you buy shares? Number one, you should buy shares for capital gain. For now, just keep it the word capital gain. I will explain it in a win. Capital gain, that is, the capital that you have invested in the business can actually grow in value. For example, that in 100,000, that's the FDH. Share price, I want to give you guys a, a good example. I think FDH today, um, of course, it's not a significant jump, but I want you to see FDH is 110. 0 0.2 to 100, 110.03 tambale, 0 0.3 tambale. I will show you my, my price margins, Ena, which are, are showing a better a better change. So as those those prices yeah, are Baba. going, someone just mute. Mm. Okay. Some, I, think, I think someone is mic is okay so as as the share prices are going up you will value yaku you may invest as the share prices are going down the value as well as i said i'll explain it better with proper figures so that you see it the second one is dividend dividend is every year the company most companies i should say most companies make profits on the malai stock exchange it's not every company that makes profits some can make losses for example last year last year and last of last year tnm made losses tnm made losses so but at least for most of the companies they made profits so for the profit imene company yapanga perachaka Zimango tenga uti kodi wewe kukampane kuna ika kundra mazingati. Nga tuna ika kwa zambiri, profit ya kwa sema kala ambiri. Nga tuna ika kwa so chepa, profit ya kwa sema kala yochepa. The second, the third one is collateral. On collateral, you can go to the bank. Now, you know, these days, you might want to start a business, but you don't have money. You can go to the bank, tell them to borrow you money, and they will ask you, okay, do you have a collateral? Or collateral, I think there's a word they use. I don't know what, what is your word do they use. 
uh, for collateral. There's this other collateral. Eya chikole, amati chikole in chichewa. So other banks, mina they will say, do you have like mina nyumba? Kuti tu kubase ngongole mene, or do you have? China chake choti. In case you fail to pay the money, we we'll take that particular thing, sell that particular thing, and gain back our money. So the share, the shares that you have on the Malay Stock Exchange can be your collateral. Instead of mina having a house, having all these things, you can have the shares on themselves as a collateral. The fourth one is voting rights. Of course, the voting rights depends on the, the shares that you have. If you have a huge number of shares, there are certain decisions you, you have power <laughs> in voting. Because Muntu Oti Ndo Sauka, Muntu Oti Ndo Sauka, or Ata Kala Kuta Kuyankula Mukua, Mawa Geba Makala Osasa, Foti Ndo Sauka Bas. Muntole mela akango koso mula, you know, antwa mwambela manji. So, in these companies, kuma kala ma decisions. For example, as a, as a company, mwina funa chose say board, board of director. Antwa sauka, antwa mela nditi ma share topi ni mbira, ma company na wawo. Uwatayan kula zina za kisi zima vega ya. Kuma antwa na kakango, zima vega kwa mpi. So, it's important. It's important to put it as by and by. We should put in more money to make to be part of decision makers in most of these companies. Now, I will ask again: Are you able to see the picture? Are you able to see the picture? Someone just unmute and. Yes, sir. We can see the picture. Okay. So, what is the expectation? And when Peter come up a stock exchange, when you put the, when, for example, I'm putting the the figures on my status, people think this is how the stock market goes. Like it's just a pew. It's magic. You know, it's like as if it's a theater. Like it just goes. <laughs> no, it's not like that. The prices, the prices, they go up, and they go down. They go up, they go down. They go and they can go up and go down to the point that they can give you almost like a heart attack. <laughs> I remember um, some some few days ago. Um, so I, I I wanted to buy particular shares, and those shares that when when the day I, I ordered for those shares, like I gave money to my stockbroker, I'll explain where stockbroker is. The day I gave money to the stockbroker to buy those shares is a day Malai Stock Exchange released a particular report, a three months report about the companies on the Malai Stock Exchange. And that company was labeled as one of the poorly performing companies in the last three months. And guys, I just put my money into this particular company. Oh, I, I almost died. <laughs> I was like, what have I done? You know, because here, we, here I was, you know, thinking I'm, I'm playing a good game. Most as well, you know, I'm playing a bad game. Of course, for me, it wasn't that the price had gone up or gone down. But there are all these emotions. The, the market plays with your emotions. And if you're an emotional person that you don't face things logically, you might find that, suppose the price was up here, it has gone down. You wait for a long period of time, you find that the share price has gone up like this. Sorry to use that example, but it's, I want to give you a good picture. What I am Kazu Abino, what I am Amun Abin. She most most of these shares. Zilingati Banja. Matap Yambana, so did for the Mambana and the Buti Banja Litea. It's just one of the things that happen on the market. <laughs> so I want to give you an example of capital gain. I said that the, you should invest or you should put your money on the market because there's capital gain, dividends as a collateral, and voting rights. So this. This was 
this the stockbroker giving me update and he said this was um this should be yeah is this is yale lolo the update yale lolo i was being given this update today that nbs and the fdh their share prices are going up they are going up and because the share i mean the the stock market opens on monday and closes on friday it opens on monday and closes on friday so today being friday the market closed now when the market was opening this week the share price of fd i mean nbs was at 115 kwacha 0.15 or 0.14 tambara yeah as it was closing today, it was 1.152 kwaja, 28 tambara. Someone just helped me to do the maths. The difference between 152 kwaja, 0.28, 115.14. Just help me to do the maths because I want to explain what the question that someone asked. Kutukodi ndei ndrama zako zilipatipo hapa hapa. Sintu kuzuona bu ino ndrama. Kutukodi ndrama zanga 152 kwaja. Yeah, sorry, 43. It's, it's how much? 43.14. It's 43.14. Now, yeah. I want to give you a scenario. Suppose you have 200,000, you guys. Yeah? Suppose Hello. you have 200,000. Yes. Hello? Hello? Uh, sorry, but you can see the screen. Oh, you can see the picture? Yes. Okay, let me, let me do this. Uh, yeah, at least now. Oh, you can see it. Yeah. Okay. So, suppose you have 200,000 kwacha. Mukufuna mute mu ikendalama mu NBS bank. On Monday. It means, gao lina lili lose la NBS bank. Iwe ukuli gula at 115 kwacha. If this was a pizza, would 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 try to almost the, the pizza scenario is not necessarily a good good, but at least is giving a, a better picture. It would mean to say slice it or say a pizza, we will at 115 watch. So that would be 20,000. Someone just do the maths. 20,000 divided by 115.14. Do a quick maths. And tell me. How, mu how much is it? 200,000 divided by this number, 115. Do, we don't have people who do maths. Eh? Let me do the maths myself because you guys are delaying. Okay, so I think I'm getting uh, 1,739. Yeah? 1,739. The minister know. Muntuyu, you, indeed 1,739 shares. Alindima slice a pizza o kwa nila 1,739 kwa asha. Netu funa tibange masama papa. Lelolo market ya banga close at 152 kwa asha. 0.28. Monday price inali 115 kwa asha. 0.14. Which means if I do 1,739 kwa asha times 152 kwa asha. 0.28 it's giving me i don't know if my math is correct it's giving me 264,814 kwash 264,814 kwash zimene zuta ntawo I mean, I'm like a 20,000 kwacha. On Monday, ku NBS Bank, kugula ma shares. 
Anaika ngata anaika 200,000 kwacho. Wapanga profit kuchoka mande kufika lero. Wapanga profit yokuwa nila 64,000 kwacho. Just in 5 days. That is what we call it capital gain. Ndrama zimeno ukwikazo zikukwela in value. Any question on that? Before I proceed. Now you can see that the market is good. Some of you, the businesses you are doing, you are doing 200,000 kwaja business. They cannot give you these figures. Yeah. <laughs> so it's a, it's a good place for you just to take your money. You put it there. You put it, you, you are simply at home doing other. You can be praying the whole, the whole day, the whole night. On Friday, this is how your money has gone. It has gone just like that. Other people are doing the business for you. Any question before I proceed here? I have a question. Yes, yes. Okay, so when I saw capital gain is like above 264,000. Eh? Yes, sir. Is it, yeah. possible, is it possible just to cash out that 64,000 and leave that 20,000? Yeah, it's it's possible. That means you do the 64,000 kwacha. You divide it with the current price yama share. Mm -hmm. Does that make sense? So in this case, if I'm to do um if I'm to do 64,000 kwacha divide by 152.28. That means it's it's giving me 420 shares. Ndeguti, you will tell your stock broker, because stock broker, ndipa nga explain, kuma stock broker, ama kalangati, uh, mediator, he's the one who takes your money and he buys the shares for you in the companies, the 16 companies. He's also the one who takes your shares and he sells them to other buyers who wants them. He's simply a mediator. Uh, in the past, antangama pita waka fusira, Kwina kwaki. You know? Pamakala, pamakala kina kaka mighty, I don't know what word were they using. Kwina wapa makala pakati. I don't know what word they were using, but. Yeah? What, what word? Between. Yes, go, go between. between. Yes, pamakala ka go between. Kwa kango siya kalati. Kwa kwa, ama kwa kango siya kalati. <laughs> that was, that was in Chile. Of course, my go between and I get, they were really bad. <laughs> but, these stock brokers are also like go-betweens between you as a person who wants to buy the shares in the companies or as a go-between be, between you who wants to sell the shares to other buyers they could almost a stock broker you know okay panopa i want to sell 420 shares stock broker i i i i bit is market i mean i go for my share when it's done if people buy those shares they will cash in the money into your account. You have your 64,000. However, now imagine what good is 64,000. What good is it? Puma and the Puma. You know, remember what I told you. Even if the share price goes up, it goes up maybe to here. Know that there's a possibility that that share price can come here. So if you sell them here, you are actually delaying yourself. My mentor, who was teaching me these things, he told us that in stocks, you buy and hold. You buy and you hold. Don't be that person. Not, hey, I, that person, drama, basi, dingo guri, sa, hey, mwina, mwina, nikoza kuluza, drama, zain. No, 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 no. There's, the market has an upward trajectory. On a daily basis, the prices are always going up and they are going down. Koma, the market has an upward trajectory. So trust the market. Yeah. Any question before I proceed? I think I've explained it. I've explained it better. Um, but I wanted to give you guys a good example of FDH as well. that on this particular day 5 july 5 july the opening price yeah fdh was 85 kwacha 
Many siku lale, siku limene olimata. Share price FDH moved from 85 kwaja to 95 kwaja. Kuma as we are talking today, the share price is no longer 95 kwaja. It has gone up from 95 kwaja. From 95 kwaja, it went to 105 kwaja. From 105 kwaja, it went to 110 kwaja. Now, let me show you something. This, this is simply a receipt of the shares I bought on a particular day. This was on, let me check the date. Yeah, this is a date. I think it was on third, I don't know what, what month it is. But yeah, I bought it on this particular day. When I was buying on this particular day, the share price was on 65 kwacha. it was it went from 65 kwaja to 85 kwaja by July. Ya choka pa 85 kwaja, kubela pa 95 kwaja. Kuchoka pa 95 kwaja, ya pa 105 kwaja. Ya choka pa 105 kwaja, ya pa 110 kwaja. Akula kulu. <laughs> I, if you want to be convinced more, then I don't know how to convince you. <laughs> because if you look at it, on this particular day, I bought, I bought the shares at 65 kwaja. The value was 700. I mean, I bought 746 46 shares. Can you just put me the calculator? I want to do a calculator with you guys, then I close the session. So if, if, if you look at it, I bought 746 shares, yeah, at a value of 65 kwaja. Drama's meaning na ikako, total deal was, total deal was this, anangondi dula tima attack sitting at like, koma this was the money that was used to buy the shares, 48,751 kwaja. Now, can someone just do 746 times just multiply it by by 110.03 746 746 times 110.03 do the maths for me and the two kwacha point the date number now if you if you if you do a subtraction with 48000 i mean for the 19 we got 49900 for the 5 quarts that's a profit of 32137 quarts just in few months whilst antwenake anani ndi drama to 50 50000 quarts anaje la mandas and I got get my fingernails, you know, yeah, bent up here. Yeah, yeah too. And I got my finger. Malo mo banga groan Malo mo banga groan Yeah, yeah, yeah. And and you have this money, fifty thousand. We're talking about fifty thousand. And by the way, it's not like minimum. You know, because I'm going to put it on my share and fifty thousand. You can put any money if you have, let's say. 1,000 kwacha. You can go buy the shares. You can go buy. So, guys, this is a hot deal. Everyone is supposed to be in this game. If, if you want to be convinced more, I don't know. These are real figures by real people like us who are doing these things, and we are not regretting it. How do you buy shares? Number one, you open a brokerage account. As I told you, we have different blockers in Malang, my go-betweens. These go-betweens, they help us to buy the shares. I think quickly, let me just, let me just show you the, the brokers that we have in Malawi. We have Stock Brokers Malawi Limited, CEDA Capital Limited, and the Continental Capital Limited. My Stock Broker is Stock Brokers Malawi Limited, that, the one I use. It's not like you can only use that one. You can also find the other ones. And these are their contact details. Uh, if you go on the Malawi Stock Exchange, you'll find these contact details 
for some of you maybe who can just take a screenshot i don't know but these are their contact details you can contact them the best way to contact them is just to email them just email them tell them i want to open a brokerage account with you guys what are the requirements you begin the conversations and yeah they will they will help you to open the account once you open the account you decide which stocks you want to buy because we talked about the 16 companies that we have yeah these ones so you decide do i want to buy airtel do i want to buy blanta hotel limited what about fdh uh, maybe fmb you decide after you make the decisions about which stocks you want to buy decide how many shares you want to buy as well because you cannot just say i want uh, i want 10000 shares you don't have money for 10000 shares decide how many shares do you want to buy and it's good to to uh, I, 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 as as we go i will show you something it's good to really decide the number of shares you want to buy and periodically also decide could you for example for example today i was doing a plan of how many shares I want to have by December in the companies that I'm interested in. It can be a plan like that to say, okay, maybe every month I'll be I'll be putting 10,000 there, I'll be putting 10,000 there just to, you know, to keep buying more, to keep buying more so that as the prices are going up, as the companies are distributing the dividends, I'm part of that particular game. Um, then, uh, I will just go to this one, number five, which is to order. You email after the, the account has been opened, your broker will tell you the account you're supposed to deposit the money to. When you deposit the money in the account, you decide the stocks you want to buy, you, you want to buy, the number of shares you want to buy, then you tell them, okay, this is an order. Buy these things for you. They buy the, those things for you. In the end, they build, they build up your portfolio. Now, what are the requirements of a stockbroker for you to open a, a brokerage account? Usually, it's they require, I think, three or four things. Number one, you should have a national ID card. Number two, you're supposed to have a utility bill. A utility bill because of color, yama gesi, or yama ads. Number three, you are supposed to have a bank statement. At least, mwina isaduse, beyond at least a month a monthly yamwe zumos bank statement you compile these things you send them to the broker um amakupasa my form i have the forms if you want them i can share them with you you can contact me i can share them with you together with those forms you send an email to the broker or else you can go and visit directly to their offices they, they can open an account for you. You start the deposits. You tell them the stocks you want to buy, the number of shares you want to buy. Then they buy for you. Thus, you are in business. Now, the good thing about the brokers is that the brokers are able to tell you. Apart from Iwe Gubanga decide to put in the shares in NBS or the Gurema shares in FDH, you can ask the broker to say, what do you, which shares do you think based on my goals yeah so if i'm in the short term go we in the long term go but i would encourage you use long term goals based on the goal that i have what do you think are the shares that i should buy for example some few weeks ago i was talking with my brokers he came i was i was engaging in a physical meeting with him and he told me you should buy nbs shares at that time i think when we are talking NBS shares were at hundred watch. You know, like in Mamuna, in I didn't take an action. As we are talking now, NBS shares are at hundred and fifty something watch. Had I acted faster, I don't know what would have happened to my portfolio. So the broker is able to tell you to say based on the market panopa go for this company go for this company so it's good to engage with the broker the brokers are always updating you with information be inquisitive ask them questions you can ask them any dump and any silly question they'll answer you 
but don't always depend on the broker's advices because even them they can go wrong i was as i was talking with the broker i was telling him on a particular information to say this is what the malawi stock exchange has uh, released what 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 are your thoughts on it and the broker didn't know that the malawi stock exchange has had released that particular report so even the brokers themselves sometimes they can be behind you need to stay ahead of your game gather information be up to date if you are not up to date you'll be outdated that's it you find yourself you've blown your your portfolio simply because you are not up to date so be up to date um i won't go into this but yeah because of time as well we delayed what determines the share prices on the stock ex the stock market usually is demand supply demand and supply as i said the stock the stock prices change every day and they can change anytime but what determines what goes up and what comes down is demand and supply if the demand is high and the supply is low you know this these are forces these are market forces likely the price will shoot up but if the supply is huge the demand is low people are just selling the that particular sh my shares from that particular company the price will start going down now what are factors that affect the stock prices number one is company news and performance i'll give you an example airtel in a panga release um their statement on a particular time and at a panga release that particular statement it was found that there was something faulty with the statement that they released so they were advised could i panga retract the statement akapange so Abange update some details and they should come back to the public and explain themselves. Till now, Airtel and Azbange be explained. And to me, it's not surprising that because of the blunder they did, even furthermore, their share prices are going down. And the Panopa people are afraid, actually. Some people are very, very afraid to buy my shares at Airtel. And I'm so certain that other people are selling my shares from Airtel. I'm not saying that buying an airtel shares is a bad idea now remember we are talking about long term airtel will still be there in five to ten years industry performance in malawi at the moment for example the industry that is performing is the banking sector the banking sector is performing my, my telecoms like tnm airtel yeah you know they are trying to fight but the industry their industry is not performing so that personally as of now, I'm putting my money in the banking sector. I'm, I'm not putting, but I'm, yeah, I'm somewhere, somewhere, I'm putting the money into the telecoms as well. Investor sentiments. These are just what people are, are <laughs> you know, people are thinking about how the market is going to behave. It can affect the prices. Sometimes it's economic factors, as in inflation, as in devaluation, all those things that can affect the stock prices point to be taken as we close don't watch the stock watch the business don't watch the stock watch the business because as i said the stock price always goes up and comes down but for most of the businesses that are on the stock market as a business entity they are going upwards so watch the business sometimes you know the stock they don't perform good and you you almost feel a heart attack when the share price move from 65 kwaja to 55 kwaja and 55 kwaja to 45 kwaja and you feel like you are losing your money <laughs> but don't give up watch the business the worst mistake you can make is to sell simply because maybe you made a little profit or else simply because there was a little decline in the share price as i said if you look at the share the, the the market as a market in overall on the stock market it has an upward trajectory you might find that you sell here your share prices 
<laughs> you never know that after three months or after maybe six months, after one year, after two years, the share price will hit here. And you can make me in a millions. I remember one of my mentors in these things, Benedicto Benancoma, he was telling us how he made, I think, about 30 million kwash in a week. 30 million kwash in a week. By simply holding on to a particular share. So don't, 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 don't give up. Don't give up when things are going bad a bit or when, yeah, that day you were excited. Don't give up. Most, most lastly is be up to date. Oh, oh that one, that will, I will keep pounding on it. If you are not up to date, you will be outdated. You will be very outdated. And find people who are ahead in the game and allow them to speak into your life. If you're interested in the stock market, for example, I'm interested in the stock market. I follow Benedicto Benancoma like crazy. I'm one of the people who comment on his posts like crazy because the guy is always updating. If you go today on his Benedicto Benancoma page, Facebook page, you'll find that he wrote something concerning the stock market. Today, I think, and yesterday. Such things are very important because these are people who have traded in the game for a long time. And the information, the information that they will give you is so rich, it will help you to make wise decisions. Sometimes maybe the market will be misbehaving, but they will come and tell you, no, don't give up, hold on to that thing. And you are shocked with what happens to the market. Lastly, last, 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 I should say, um, not last, but mm -hmm. last but one, is being communities where people are, are doing these things. For example, in, I'm in a WhatsApp group where we, we gather there as people who buy and sell stocks. I'm telling you, it's, it's such a rich community. There, there, there is a rich information that is poured on that particular WhatsApp group every day, and it helps you to make better decisions. As I close, now, this is my last slide. The best time to plant a tree this is a Chinese proverb. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. Is now. The best time to plant a tree was 20 years ago. The second best time is now. So today is an opportune time. Make a decision. This information is of no use if you don't make a decision and act on that particular decision. As I usually love to say, time waits for no one. Time waits for no one. As you are, you are thinking like me, should I buy NBS or not? You will just wake up, you realize NBS has gone from 100 kwacha to 150 kwacha. Whilst you are contemplating, don't contemplate too much. You have to think, you have to, it doesn't mean that you have to just have, do my emotional buys. Think fast, act fast. Think fast, act fast. And for some of you, you, are, you have been hearing about these things, but you don't have accounts. It's time to open those accounts. And for those people who want to open accounts, I will share my contact details, and I will personally be there to help you, to ensure that you open the accounts. At least by, by next week, you should start trading on the Malay Stock Exchange. I will be so happy to hear that you didn't just hear this information, but that you acted on it. It doesn't make sense that we should just keep hearing without changing. I'll just take maybe two questions as I close. Uh, or I give back to the... Um, Yeah, anything? There was a question can in the comment section. Okay, can someone just read it? Because I think there are many comments, so I'd... Okay, so uh, there was one who was asking if you could explain the meaning of the volume. 
that was under the shares table. So volume is simply it's it's like the number of shares that have been that have been exchanged from the hands of a buyer and the hands of a seller. Yeah, it's a number of shares. It's simply a number of shares that have been exchanged on that particular day. So if you go on the volume and you find the winner 126,000, it means 126,000 shares have moved from hands of buyers to hands of sellers. I mean, hands of sellers to hands of buyers. John, John. Yeah, it's like that. Any other question? I hope I've answered that particular question. Yeah. Okay, yeah, I see that you've answered. Any question before we close? No, there is no, I see there's a question where they're asking that is there any fees to pay when creating an account? There's no fee. It's for free. Opening an account is for free. However, when you're buying the shares, when you're buying the shares, they charge you a commission. And guys, the commission is so small. Like, one percent. So if you put, let's say, um, 10,000 kwacha. One percent of 10,000 kwacha, I think is 100 kwacha, if I'm not mistaken. So, I mean, 100 kwacha, some of you, what? 100 kwacha, all of us, not going to the donuts. Because you know? my donuts are around 150 kwacha, 200 kwacha. So even if they say, just for us to process these things for you, give us one percent, it's not a big deal. So these things are not expensive. Mm. I hope you answered that question. Mm. So they're asking, they're asking, he's asking another question to say, I think I've seen someone is saying, I have a question, just ask it. I'm, I'm, I'm following or I'm answering this question. Um, He's asking that, do you pay these stock brokers? Now, the point is, I told you that you need to email the stock brokers. When you email the stock brokers and tell them to say, I am interested in buying the shares, they will share you to my document. They are not that, that big. Read the document because in those documents, there are terms and conditions. So, for example, the term, terms and conditions will be like, Okay, for every shares bought of this amount, this is a percentage made is kudula. Mugabanga ma profit, for every profit made, this is amount of money you made is kudula. That is why other people prefer to contact at least Mina, all the three stock brokers. They sit down with a the document. They analyze the documents and they make a choice of which stock broker they want to go for. So for the, the best answer that I would give is contact those people. After you have contacted those people is, um, yeah, read the documents. Does technical analysis work with the Malawi Stock Exchange? I would say that it does work. It does work. Actually, um, I use one, two. One, two, they, they call it simple, I, I've forgotten, uh, my 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 war something something it 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 gives me uh it gives it gives me a better analysis a better technical analysis if you have to put it uh, i think for those people who are interested just contact me i will share you a link to that particular app that app analyzes the companies the the kind of technical analysis that that you're saying so it does work it does work but you don't need technical analysis for the for the best part of it our market is one of the, the best markets in Africa. Best, like best, top five for that, for that matter. So it's, it's uh, let me just drop my number in the chat. Um, so for those people who want to contact me, that's my number. I've dropped it in the chat. There was a question on bank statement. Now, bank statement, my bank statement, you should know what I'm a charge at, drama, you can have a bank statement. That is why I'm, I'm simply advising, you can have a bank statement, you can have at least a bank statement. A bank would mean, for example, this is, um, let's say July, just take your July, basi. that is enough, because bank statements are crazy, guys. 
I, I remember when I was opening mine. Oh, number C1. Sorry. Yeah, I think I've updated the number. Sorry. Yeah, I'd missed some digits. I remember when I was I was opening my I was opening my stock, I I took a bank statement of I don't know how many pages. And an Andy Dulan drama. Oh I regret. I regret making that decision. <laughs> because I didn't need the because my bank statement, I'm a charger based on my pages, number of pages. So if you know what the Uma Karanima transactions I'm being. Sometimes it's just better when I was out, you know, okay, for example, I need one page alone, Basi. That's enough. Yeah. Kumo kati, eh, ndu kufuna bank statement, kuchoke la ya January. Ugape za ndrama zako zosi, kubank is that. Yeah. Any other question, then, I think the last question, then I close. The other questions, you contact me, then I, I give the floor to the owners. I think silence means no Do question. You. Yes, yes. Comment. Uh, yeah, maybe just a comment. Uh, yeah, you can for, you can give the comment. For those that I want to uh, to order an account and consider that I also have the phone in my email and then share them. So I think I'll share it with Kate so that we can just forward it to the people that are going to receive it. Okay. Sure. Thank you so much. So, guys. The numbers you have dropped, contact them. Contact us. What we want is people who really mean business here. It's not about hearing. A lot of people here, but these things won't profit you if you just keep hearing them. Otherwise, I should thank the exposure and to excellence and expertise team for giving me this platform um, to share these thoughts with you. I hope that you take an action on these things. Um, again, most especially, I should thank uh, Satoko Jane Tiko for being the pioneer of this vision and got
Hello everyone. Uh, thank you so much for joining tonight. Uh, so further details will be emailed to you, like the phone number, the email address for Mr. Julius, and everything else, including the slides, that will be emailed to you. Have a blessed night. Can you hear Kate? Yes, sir. Too. Wow. How was it? Uh, it was amazing. It was really amazing. I enjoyed it. Beautiful. Yeah. Please don't forget to, to 